Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about CSS backgrounds. CSS backgrounds allow us to add backgrounds to our HTML elements. So first I'm going to create four sections just to have some content so we can take a look at backgrounds and uh, just right. So I'm going to say section, I'm going to say H1 and I'm going to call this title one, very generic. So let's just click there, title uh, one. And I'm going to create a paragraph, lorem one, not lorem 100. There we go. And then I'm going to copy this section one, two, three more times. So we have the section here. I'm just going to collapse the paragraph. Come on, buddy, it's not collapsible. So this is our first section. This is title two, section two, title three, section three. Title 4, Section 4. There we go. Let's just provide some space. Let's just save this. There we go. So we got some content in here. Content is not a lot. So let me just add like a few more. So where are we? So we have Section 1, 2, 3. This is 4. Let's add this 5. Let's add the 6. And this is, let's say, 7 just save it so one two three four five six seven so if I go full screen we still have that scroll bar now if I come in here I'm gonna grab the body using element selectors and the way that background images or backgrounds work is you just write background and there are a lot of uh, properties available for background so you have background origin which is advanced I'm not gonna take a look at background color we have talked about before I'm going to I'm going to show you background image, background position, background uh, repeat and background size. No more because the rest of them are advanced background properties. We are not concerned with advanced. So whenever you want to enter a background image, you're going to write URL and then inside quotes, you're going to pass in the path. So if they're in the same directory, which in this case it is, then you're just going to go ahead and create the path for that so you can see here we have lecture number five and the John Wick image is in the same directory so I'm I should just be able to say wick.jpg and if I save it this is the background image now it is it's not showing as we, we would expect it to show the reason for that is we need to provide some styling for it now before actually adding this I would like to add color let's change the color of the text to white and I'm going to add a background color of um light coral as well so you can see this is how we can add background colors and if you don't want to add background colors you can always add background images so let's save that this is the image now how can you manipulate the size so we have a background size property two properties are very important here one is cover the cover is going to cover the entire element while uh, it is going to preserve the aspect ratio so if you do that if you save it and if you come full screen it is going to cover the entire element and the aspect ratio is preserved what does that mean it means that any element has an aspect ratio if you violate the aspect ratio the image is either going to look stretched or shrunk so that's something that you need to keep in mind so the other one is going to be contain so I'm going to say the other value is going to be contain. Contain is going to keep the size of the image and then it is going to, it's, going, it's not going to cover the entire element. It is just going to cover as much as the size of the image. And then you can see that you have another background starting in here as well. So if I were to include like just another section with a lot more content, of course, I'm going to say H1 uh, title 8. And I'm going to say paragraph lorem 500. Let's save that. Let's come in here. And now you can see it is basically repeating our background. But background cover did not repeat it. So we do have another uh, background repeat property. If you set it to no repeat, then the image will not repeat it. Of course, this content is not shown because they're white. You can see there is content. A background cover contain, background size contain doesn't really care about. 
So let's comment out these parts as well. Then um, I'm just going to show you a background uh, position as well. And that is used for responsiveness purposes. So I'm going to set the background size to cover and I'm going to say background position. Uh, you could put it to top. So let's save it. So if I now come into inspect, I'm going to put this on the right side. And whenever you click on this mobile device, it says toggle device toolbar. You're going to see this window and you can just increase or decrease this window. This is a responsive emulator. This is going to allow you to take a look at your website on smaller screens. So, for example, how would this website look like on iPhone X on an iPhone X? It would look like this. Now, background position says that if the uh, image, that the width of the window is getting smaller, I never want the top of the image to disappear. So I don't care about the right, the left, the bottom. I just care about the top. I don't want the top to disappear. So you can see the top part is always available. If you set it to... Uh, let's set it to left, left, always the left is going to be available. So it doesn't matter. So you can see this is the left of the image. It's always going to be available. There we go. If you set it to right, always the right is going to be available, is going to be visualized. There we go. Doesn't matter what the screen size is. And if you set it to bottom, the same thing goes for bottom. Because we do have content, the bottom doesn't apply here. The bottom applies only when we, we you don't have the scroll bar. But you do have that option as well. The other major one is background position. Background position. Uh, set it to center. Center. Just set it to center. And it is always going to show you the center of the image, which is the ideal part. So let me just go there, get out of there, put this back in the bottom and close it and make this smaller. Um, with this, our lecture comes to an end. So see you in the next one.